Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with Pemberton Fish Finder again. I'm Ben, and we are doing your Friday Night Fly recipe for the weekend. Tonight we'll be tying a clouser minnow. Here is our recipe list. You'll be needing a size 8 streamer hook, uh, some lead eyes in small. As well, we'll be using fluorescent orange and black bucktail with some flashaboo in for the tail and some peacock curl for the body. So we'll go down to the vise now. I've pinched the barb off on the hook. Got some lighter color thread here. And we're just going to do one wrap down the shank. Take our snag off. Here I've got my three strands of peacock curl. We'll tie them in tail first. And a few wraps. Take off our snags. I'll take the thread back down three quarters the way of the hook. And we'll start wrapping our hurl. So we don't want to crowd the eye of the hook too much because we still got quite a bit of material to go on. Uh, both colors of our bucktail are lead eyes as well as our flashaboo. So I'll stop there. Give it a wrap off. I'll give it an extra one. And take it off there. Now I'm going to take our lead eyes. So we start with those. We give them one wrap one way and one wrap the other. So they're sitting nice and square. And then we'll do a few more wraps around almost in a figure eight pattern just to keep them solidly down. A few wraps in front and a few wraps behind so it stops them twisting around and spinning when you're casting. So there we got our eyes on nice and solid. Next we'll take a couple of strands of flashaboo. Four is more than enough. So I'll tie them on along. Use the pinch wrap technique. Two wraps. And we'll leave this long a bit because we want to tie it on down into the nose. And now we'll take a bit of our fluorescent orange bucktail and some of our black bucktail. And we don't need too much, just enough to create a swimming minnow. So we're going to use a bit less black and a bit more orange. That will do for us. I'll take that, cut that off, and we'll tie that on a little bit longer than the total length of the minnow, and what it does is keeps it a little darker underneath, doesn't make it too bright and unpresentable to unsuspecting fish. Again, the pinch technique, two wraps off with that, we'll take our orange bucktail, again, a little bit more than the black. I'd say that's about enough there. And we'll take that off. Again, it's a little bit longer than the black we tied in. We'll leave a quite a bit overlooking the eye of the needle because we're going to have to pinch all that down and tie it off into the nose. So we'll give that a few wraps. Hold it tight to make everything uniform. couple of wraps we're done there now with the cyclops eye has a little bar across the top of it so you can tie this over and it gives a little bit of a hump in between also adding a bit more depth to the fly so we have our material just hanging out loosely here we'll pinch everything tight and give it a couple of nice hard wraps not too hard because you don't want to break the thread and just to be clear I've never done that in my life 
We'll take off our extra material here and give it all the chop. Wrap that off nice and tight. And we'll take our whip finisher, give that a couple of turns, pull tight. Now any leftover flashaboo, anything like that can be trimmed. You can leave them all different lengths as long as you like. And we'll just trim the eye of the needle down a tiny bit. <coughs> few more wraps around the eye so you get a nice clear ready to put your line through do one more whip finish and job done clouser minnow sometimes you can uh, burn the front of the uh, deer hair singe it shut uh, if you want to have a little more buoyancy if not there you go you can see the underside body, the peacock curl gives a bit of glimmer to it and a nice bit of flashaboo in the tail with the lead eye. That is your Clouser Minnow recipe for the weekend. I'm Ben with Pemberton Fish Finder. Have a good weekend.